good afternoon, Elements members. It's Coach Beth here for Senior Fit. Uh, it's Tuesday, October. Oh gosh, who can tell me what it is? Anyway, middle October. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have the exact date in my brain. Um, but here we are, Senior Fit Tuesday, and I'm going to use my tote bag today, tote bag Tuesday. Um, so if you want to just zip real quickly to your pantry or <clears throat> utility room and grab your market bag um, and put some weight in it. You could be um, a, some, a few, just a few cans of canned food or a um, few bags of rice or boxes of cereal, whatever you feel like would be adequate for you to hold that bag um, with. You also want your water bottle. I'm gonna set up my camera. Um, I'm sorry, I'm having technical difficulties with my Air, AirPods right now, so I'm just gonna have to holler at the phone here in order to get our, our uh, sound to you. So I'll do my best um, to get the words to you. Otherwise, go ahead and get yourself ready on an armless chair. You're gonna want a chair with a back for sure. I'm not using one with a back today, but um, that's pretty standard practice for me. Grab your sunglasses if you're outside. I'm trying to take advantage of these last few sunny days, warmer sunny days um, here in the Willamette Valley. So, so glad you're here with me today. I'm gonna get a set up with the camera. Grab your market tote, put some weight in it, and we'll get going. This is a 40 to 45 minute class typically, so you can kinda get yourself oriented for that. I'm gonna rotate my chair so the corner is facing you and I can straddle that corner as we work. Here's my tote bag. Okay, it's got some weight in it. It's pretty substantial. That feels pretty good to me. I'm gonna set that aside, but nearby. And we'll go ahead and get started with some seated breathing. So go ahead and have a seat. Whoops, I didn't tie my shoes. I'm not used to wearing shoes all the time, so I tend to slip them on and go. Make sure your shoes are tied. There's no obstacles in the room that are in your way or that are distracting you. And we'll get started. All right, so sitting nice and tall, there's the corner of your chair if you are straddling it. Just set those feet out a little bit wider, okay? You still wanna feel those sits bones on your chair, but um, I like to straddle it so my legs have a little more freedom to move if we go there. So sitting nice and tall, let's press our hands into the thighs just to build your structure a little more upright, reaching up through the crown of the head. I'm gonna look out at my horizon and I'm gonna start some deep breaths, inhaling through the nose, and out through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do three more. You're in your own tempo, at your own tempo. Feel the shoulders relax and soften as you exhale. And feel like you're creating a little more space along the spinal chain as you exhale, so getting taller. Last one. And exhale. Let's just gently see how the spine feels in rotation today. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn to my right, take my left hand to the right knee, and then wrap around. You can hold on to the back of the chair if you want. Just turn and look to the right. It doesn't have to be a full quarter turn. But I do want my hips and legs to stay in the same place as I twist the upper body around. Slide the shoulders down the back. Look out at your horizon. Give that two breath cycles. Not forcing a stretch at any point. It's just a gentle twist. Stop when you can't twist anymore. Let's let go and go to the other side. Right hand, left knee. Couple of deep breathing cycles here. Feel the sit bones balanced on your chair. 
One more deep breath. Grow a little taller. And then gently let go there. Good. We're going to bring the hands out in front, palms are up, and we're just going to do a little bit of crisscross over, under, out in front of you. And breathe. Good. Now pulse the hands up, 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 and open the arms wide. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming back in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more time. Take it out. Three. Keep the body still. Seven, eight. Back in. Two, three, four. This time, push, uh, rotate your palms down and crisscross in front again. And eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Push the palms down. Go out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back in. Four, three. Go back out. Wide. Three, four, five. Like you're bouncing a ball under each hand. Three, four, five, six. Crisscross again. Over, under. Over, under. Now with the over, under, reach it up for four. Three, two, and down to the middle. Stop there, go up, down. Up one more time, and down, now. Down to the knees, three, four, go up to the middle. Down again, four, three, two, one, and up to the middle. Last set, it's down, two, three, four, and up to the middle. Right there, open the arms wide, show me your palms. As you open up the chest, open up the front of the shoulders, squeezing the upper back ever so gently just to promote this stretch. Let the arms float down. Wrap the arms around the front body, reaching for your shoulder blades. Stay right there for a moment. Let the elbows just rest down in front of you. Two more deep breaths. One more time. There we go. Place the hands on the thighs, pull the elbows in narrowly to your waist. We're gonna bend the elbows, okay? And then I'm going to push with my right arm to lift my right shoulder. There's a twist, come back in. Push into the left thigh, back in. We're pushing only far enough to twist that mid-back, twist the mid-back. And center as you twist look to the right and middle now just push with the left look to the left and middle we're gonna do one more each way and twist and bend and twist and bend push with both arms right there now when we take the body down towards the legs this is the part of the arm that I want you to feel you're gonna support your body weight using your triceps, using a little bit of tone here in the front of the shoulders so that we don't lose them to behind us, but we've got tone in the front body as well as the backs of the arms. So you're gonna hinge forward, carrying the weight of the body with the backs of your arms, and now you're gonna push off of those thighs and bend forward, hinging, scoop out those abs and push away. All right, we've got eight more and push and bend. You find your range limit. We want to keep the spine very long and strong as I go forward. The head stays connected at the neck so we're not dropping the chin nor lifting it. It stays in one place. Stabilize the neck and the shoulders are reaching down the back. Push it away. Keep the breath open. Two more. Bend and press. Keep those elbows snugly by your waist and press. Good. Shake those arms out. That felt pretty good. Okay, we're going to balance with that left foot kind of towards the midline here so that you can pick up your right thigh and not feel like you really had to hike that hip up to stay balanced, okay? So, 
just let that leg swing here forward and back a few times, just nice and loose. Okay, and then we're gonna use the quad a bit. So flex that ankle, pull the toes up away from the floor and extend the leg. Show me your shoe, bend it in. The sole of your shoe and bend and reach it out. Bend it in, look down, look at how strong that quad is getting as you extend the leg long. Keep your posture upright, that is half the battle here. So sit up tall, pull the abs back. Good, let's try three more, and two, and one, and place it down. Good, going to the other foot, hold and support. Just let it swing with momentum here initially, nice and loose, no muscle tension, no grabbing, gripping. If this bothers your knee, you're gonna to wanna to modify it a bit. All right, so sit up tall and straight, and show me the sole, and bend. Now you might be getting some hamstring stretching here, Reach and bend, reach and bend. Modifying, you could tap the heel out, pull it in. Tap the heel out, pull it in. Still contracting the front of the thigh. Three more. Sit tall, use your arms to hold the thigh, not your shoulders or spine. Last one, bend it and lower it down. Good. We're gonna do a little more of that spine twist. Hands on the thighs. We're gonna come down through center, not too far extend the left arm and look to your left. Let the spine twist, see how the shoulders rotate? But this right arm hasn't changed. And then I come back down and in and switch. Straightening the right arm, bending it. We're gonna do two more on each side. Twist, push the body up, just that shoulder bend. Push the right shoulder away and bend. Left shoulder, twist it, and bend. Right shoulder back, and bend. Now push with both arms to sit up straight and tall. There we go. All right, we're gonna roll the palms open, lift the chest up, up, up. Go ahead and let the ribs reach forward with that. Squeezing the upper back together, and then relax. Pull the hands back, lift the sternum up to the sun. Relax, good. So what we're working on here is thoracic extension. From my rib cage going up the spine, we're extending back. Lift, 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 with the low back, stay stable. Just lift those ribs up and then bring the ribs back down and the sternum neutral. Okay, really nice. Grab your water bottle. Let's get a quick sip of water. Now we have our tote or our market basket, whatever it is you've got, it's got enough weight. Make sure your tote is sturdy so that when you do put some weight in it, it's going to hold up. So I've had this market tote forever. It seems to just do the job for me every time no tears. It's such a good little tote. And we're going to just start with some upright rowing. So I want you to stand with those feet a little wider than hip distance apart, maybe about shoulder width apart. Okay. And I'm going to choke up on that handle so that I can really grip it and it's not going to swing around and hit me in the knees. So try to get a sense of, of your load being balanced in your bag. Mine's a little off balance. I'm going to center it a little bit better. And any weight goes, right? As long as it's a safe load that you can move effectively and efficiently. Making sure your knees are not locked, the shoulders are down the back. We're just gonna pull those elbows out to the sides, lifting your bag, slowly lower it down. Okay, I'm just gonna look at my horizon and down. So that's your upright row. Making sure that we're not twisting or torquing our wrists to get the work done. So listen to that, find a comfortable position for the wrists to work. Three and two. You're gonna hold this last one up. Stay right there, make sure you're not ever holding your breath. We're not working so hard that we're holding our breath, but it should feel like work on the shoulders. Make sure your shoulders don't drop up and forward, okay? Slide them down the back. Keep them there, and we're slowly gonna lower the load. Right on. Let's
Let's do a little bit of sitting and standing with our load on the right shoulder. So if you've got a nice strap there, you can put that strap on the shoulder. If you don't have a strap, just put the bag down on the ground next to you, like so, and hold on to it there, just to the side. Now, what we don't want to have happen is that that load pulls us over, okay? We want to be able to stay squared through the shoulders, ribs, and hips, and that those legs are going to work together to stand and to sit. Now, if going up down to a full sit is too much for your joints, then don't go all the way down. And I'll do the first few without sitting all the way down. But we are going to shift our weight a little forward and stand up with our load. Okay, there it is. If you need to adjust the load, like hold it closer, that works. Mine's a little long, but we'll work with it. Okay, so the first few I'm just going to squat and stand and squat. And you can even hug that load in if it's going to bounce and swing around. Now I'm going to sit, I don't know where I want that load to be, and stand. That's part of the challenge with this work is that sometimes our loads are imperfect, right? If we're carrying some sort of garden equipment or groceries or whatever it is, dog food, that it's never a perfect load. There's not always a great handle on what we're moving, so we got to be able to adapt and find positions where we can still be strong and not lose the load. <sighs> Three more. I don't want you to drop that bag of kibble and have it bust open in the parking lot. Nothing worse than that. One more. <sighs> okay, and switch it over. Maybe it's a watermelon. Sometimes I've dropped a watermelon before. Not pretty. <laughs> okay. First few, I'm going to simply squat and then I'll move on to a sit and a, and a stand. Remember with your squat, hips go back over your chair and stand up. Back and stand. Keep looking out at your horizon or maybe a little higher to keep your chest lifted. Okay, now I'm going to do the full sit. So sitting down, I changed my load. I better keep it out here so that my body can adapt evenly. Sit down, pulling those abs back, going both directions. Sit down and stand. We're gonna do four more. Sit, press into the feet, stand up, squeeze the bum. Sit down. Keep the chest lifted, last two. And last one. Stand up. There we go. Nicely done. Okay, let's do some bicep work here. I'm going to hold on to the handle. If you have a rigid strap or a handle, this might be a better way of doing these bicep curls. But I do want the palms to be up. Okay, standing nice and tall. Let's go into our kick stand or our um, sorry split stance, which looks like a kick stand. That right foot is back behind me, but my body weight is balanced on each foot. I'm going to curl the bar up, curl it down, curl the bar up, lower down. Pull your navel back towards your spine. Stay tall and upright as you curl the bar up, curl it down. Five. My load is hitting me in the belly. Woo it's just gonna help me remember to keep my core very tight. Two. Last one. Lower down slow, slow, slow. And then put your load down carefully. Really good job. Set those feet out a little bit wider than shoulders and let's twist. Nice easy trunk rotation. We've kind of kept everything Hold into the center of the body now. We want to just twist it out, relax a little bit and unwind. Reach out through the crown of the head as you twist so that you're getting taller as you create space rotationally. Four, and three, and two, and one. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna turn my chair as if 
this for the back of my chair, right here, okay? If you'd like to hold on to the back of your chair, I encourage you to do that. We're gonna do a side leg lift. So, starting with a straight leg, long lever. Keep your feet right underneath you. Hold on to your chair back for balance. And you're going to just lift the right leg out to the side. Lift it out. Now when I lift the leg, I don't want it to rotate. I just want to push the side of my shoe out and bring it down. Whoop. Yes, it is a worthwhile balance exercise as well. Stay upright, stay strong. That left leg is going to start to get a little tired from balancing, but do your best to keep the left hip in underneath you. Two and one. Just tipping over to the left now. Lift and lower and lift and lower and press the outside of the shoe out to the side wall. Six and five. Here's four. Relax the shoulders. Three. Stay balanced on that right. Last one. Good. Step your feet out wider, wider than your chair legs. We're going to stir those hips around, set the hips back, and just start a little stir for five. And four. And three. There's two. And one. Finish in that squat and reverse. Four or five. in your squat stand up let's practice those squats okay if your chair is here right in front of you your chair back go ahead and press the hips away from that chair back and then pull yourself back up push the hips away pull yourself back up so it's as if I had a chair back here pull your hips towards the chair back and push them away from the chair pull them up push them back I'm going to turn to face you. Grab a drink of water here while I move my load out of the way. I'm going to encourage you for our next bit of work to use the chair back to hold on to. Okay, Use the chair back so that you happen to destabilize. You got something to support you. Again, if this were my chair back, let's see. I'm going to put my right foot forward and we're just going to start with a rocking forward and back. Again, hold on to that chair back if you feel like you need it, but I'm not even lifting my foot fully off the floor. It's toes and heel, toes and heel. There's a little bit of a knee bend between. We could call that a modified lunge forward. Now as I do this, I want to try to keep my hips squared facing you. I don't want them to twist. And forward. And back. Let's do four. Little knee bend. And three. And two. Now when we go back, make it a knee lift. That's the balance piece to start with. Forward, knee lift. Forward. If you're not confident, Okay, about lifting that knee, don't do it. Stick with that heel dig and lift. We're shifting the weight to see how well each leg can support us. Now we're going to keep the right knee down and lift the back heel. Did you see that? Lifting my back foot looks like this. Up, heel, up, and heel dig. Heel up, heel dig. Heel up. Okay, now if you're feeling really, really good, you can still hold on to your chair back, but make it a knee and a heel. Little rocking horse and heel. Knee and heel. Knee. <sighs> then you can pull with the arms forward and back. All of these add ons are optional. A, make sure that you've got a safe space to work in. 
not going to hit or kick anything. B, you want to be able to rely on your balance, and if you can't, hold on to your chair. And don't do these add-ons. Let's go back to our basic toe and heel. Toe, here's my chair. <laughs> toe and heel. Three more. And heel. Two more. And heel. Last one. And heel. Great job. Shake it out a little bit, and we're going to go to the other side. So, so that I can stay facing you, I'm just going to turn my chair around. Here's the chair back. Left foot's forward. Now I'm going to move this bag because it is probably not safe. I don't want to miss and step on it. So we start here. Heel and toes. Left heel, right toes. Okay, a little bit of a little knee bend in between each tap. Work those legs into a modified lunge. Make sure this feels okay on your joints. Hands on hips so that I stay squared towards you. Heel and toes and heel. Keep going. Shift your weight foot to foot and then feel where you have to go in the body to keep that balance. Ideally, it's right here in the core. So keep those abs tight. Ready for a left knee lift? Here it is. It's up and toes. Knee and toes. Optional, right? You got that chair back here still if you need it. Toes and knee and toes. Knee and toes. One more. Now keep the knee down and we're going to pick up that right heel back behind us. Up. Pick it up. Kick your hip. Kick your hip right there with the right heel. Up. My hips, shoulders, and ribs are still facing you. We don't want any of these three points to twist or rotate or shrug. Heel, heel kick. Now I'm gonna do both. This is optional, remember? Optional. You can still do this and hold on to your chair or you can reach and pull. It's reach and pull. Reach. I'm still squared, right? Only in so far as I can stay controlled and balanced. Am I going to add these options? They're just that. They're options. Four. Reach and pull. And two. And one. And then the basic. Toe and heel. There's that chair again. You getting warm? Warm in the hips. Heel and toe. And toe. Strong legs. And two. And one. Right there. All right, shake that out. Find your balance again on your feet. Good work. Okay, we're going to go back to our bag, our loaded bag. There it is. All right, we're going to swing our bag. So I've got a nice long handle. That's, that's fine, but if that feels out of control, you're going to want to choke up on that again. You could hold the bag itself, like so. See how I've done that, instead of holding on here. I'm going to hold on to a slightly longer handle here, so that as I swing that bag, I can really get some momentum going. Now be careful with that momentum. Make sure there's no furniture in front of or behind you. I want to drop the handles here first. Just straddle your bag there for a moment. And let's rehearse the motion that we're after. Place your hands on your hips. As you send the hips back, slightly bend the knees, and then you're gonna drive your hips forward and up. Be careful not to lock the knees now. So sit back, pull the hips up and in. Sit back, up and in. Make sure that when you come up to this standing posture that you don't shorten your spine by arching the back and pushing too far forward here. Okay, so it's hips back, stand up. Hips back, stand up. Notice the hips go back and forward and back and forward. Now it's going to be the core that helps bring us back to upright so that we don't lose that ooh, stability and overdo it in the low back. Pick up your bag handles, okay, and we're going to swing that bag. 
just by using the hips there. So make sure your arms are long and we're gonna swing the bag and push up. Push up, see that? So we're not lifting the bag at all, are we? We're just letting it swing and swing. So if you add more intensity to this, you could let the arms swing a little further away. And you have more to control. But again, make sure you're not hitting anything in the room. <laughs> Accidentally or otherwise. Push and push. Get the hang of this. Three, two, one. And relax. Put that load down. Walk around for a minute, grab a drink of water while you're at it. I'm gonna check in with our time. Don't leave me, I'm just checking the time. Not sure why I can't do that without leaving. Good. Woohoo! So grab your drink of water. Okay. And then let me reset the shot. Oh, not too far off. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hope you're doing well out there. Thanks again for joining me today. So, we're gonna do some um, clean end presses with our bag. I'm gonna reduce my weight load by half, okay? So I've got some better control with that bag. So with the right arm, now you could do this seated, you could do it standing. I'll try a few seated. I feel like we can get a little more power out of standing, but if you're getting tired or if you have a situation whereby you need to sit, no problem, okay? My handle is longer, so I'm gonna have to start way down here. Well, I guess I could wrap that strap. There we go. So I wrapped that around my wrist and then I gripped it. So now organize your body so that you're aligned. Take the time to do that. Don't just jump in, okay? Your form, technique, and alignment are all part of the exercise. So we wanna make sure that we're there before we begin moving loads around. So keeping those shoulders level, we're gonna curl the weight up to the shoulder and then press it overhead. Now that press overhead is what? Optional, that's right. So curl, you could stop there, wait for me, come down and open and curl, press down. Now that is a shifting load, isn't it? It's gonna roll around in your bag a little bit. Just do your best, make sure you're not hurting yourself. Push down, open, and curl, press, down, open, two more, curl, wrist stays long and strong, down, and extend, one more, it's curl, breathe, whoops, down, and open, bonk myself in the head on that last one, let's go to the other side, so here's what I did, I reached through and then choked up on those straps, pretty secure grip here, Align the hips, ribs, shoulders. Everything stays level as we begin the curl. And press, whoa, that's a little more wobbly. Shifting load, we gotta find our balance here. There we go. Apply your breathing. Up, down, and open, and curl, and press, and down, and open. Let's go, five more. Here's four. Look out at your horizon. Don't watch me. Just whoops, unless that load shifts. <laughs> Take your time. Oh, I'm going to keep that off my arm. Two more. Down. Open. Last curl. And press. And down. And open. Yay. Good work. All right. I'm going to go back to side A. We're going to do a few more curls with that load. So I'm going to choke up again. Now, what's really important here is how we manage our wrists. Um, choking up on it works as long as you can keep that wrist long and strong. I don't want the wrist to be breaking back like this. 
So you could go here, or you could just flat out, reach in your bag, get your can, and hold on there. All right, so arm is long and strong. I want to keep a few inches between my elbow and my waist so that I'm not leveraging here, okay? It's kind of a cheat. We want the body to find its balance here with that load. If it's too much, you'll know it, right? So curl and lower. We still have some space right here between the elbow and the waist. Good, we're gonna do six more. And five. Give me four. And three. That's right, two. <laughs> and a one. Open, nice. Let's go around to the other side, okay? Same dealio, I'm gonna grip through the handles, find my bag, and when I'm ready, I'm going eight. Keep some space between that elbow and waist right there. When the load lowers down, make sure you're not tipping down to it. <sighs> Keep going. Lots of strength work today. Are your hips level? <sighs> three more. Here's three. Stay with it. Two, keep your legs right here. And one, and relax. Okay, how is it that we can keep the legs there and keep everything level? Well, we gotta rely on the core. That's wrapping all the way from the hips up and around to around the ribs, okay? All the way around the body. That's a pretty big swath of real estate. So you wanna make sure that you're using all of it in coordination and never holding your breath. Okay. We're gonna use that bag just a little bit more for our upper back, okay? Now I'm gonna add my weight back into my bag so that now I have twice as much. And we're gonna row that bag, okay? So I'm gonna reach through the handles, hold on to them, use my chair if I need to. Maybe you just wanna use your leg, that would work too. But as we begin, notice I'm not dropping the load and twisting my spine. I'm gonna keep everything level and stable. Oh, the delivery truck coming down the driveway. Hopefully it's not coming here because I'm not quite ready. See how my knees are bent? You could use the stool or your chair. Pull the elbow back. Pull it back. right down, right below you. Now, same arm. Let it hang with gravity. My palm is facing in as though I'm gripping something. And you're just gonna open up like a wing, bring it back down. Exhale as I lift that arm. I'm gonna really tighten my core. And down. And lift that wing, lower down. Feel the shoulder blade. Slide in towards the spine. Not so far that it stops. It's just a nice gentle squeeze to those muscles. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Two more, lift and lower. Last one and lower and stand up. Woo, good work. Shake those arms out a little bit while we turn around. Pick up our bag with the other arm, okay? And we're gonna row that bag. Now that first side, I started by balancing my weight, holding onto that right leg, and you pull the elbow back, okay? So that's option one, keep going. Option two is to use that chair. I kind of like that option better. Keeps me from banging my knee every time I pull that bag up. Elbow pulls right past your waist. Not so much that I twist the body. <sighs> Three, pull your abs back. Last one. Put that down. Okay, and then we've got a reverse fly. So it's open and down. And down. And down. Open and down. Four more times. Four. Abs are lifted. And three. Knees are slightly bent. Spine is straight. Last one. And down. Woo, shake that out.
out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do one more set of reverse flies, but it's gonna be with both arms. So let's have a seat. Right there. Can't get that rotation quite right. There we are. Okay, so what's gonna happen is my feet are wide, but they're also out in front of me a little farther than neutral. Okay, slippery glasses. <laughs> Making sure my hips are level. I'm gonna keep the spine very straight, especially between the ribs and the hips, and I'm gonna hinge forward, okay? The arms are right here on either side of my legs, and I'm going to lift the arms like a big hawk, and then I'm gonna come back down, okay? You adjust those feet, adjust the hips, you find a position and posture that works for you where you can really stabilize the spine. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see my back. It's straight. I'm not gonna round and pull. I'm gonna stay long and tall. And here we go, arms out and down. Up like a hawk, down. Gentle squeeze between those shoulder blades. Nice strong pull of those abs back towards your spine. Okay, I like these so well. I wanna get some heat going on our upper back. So we're gonna do four more. Three, just a squeeze. Don't crash those bones into your back. One, place your hands on your thighs and press yourself up. Sit up tall with a deep breath. We're gonna round forward, slide the hands down the slopes of your legs, take a deep breath, rise back up. Inhale, chin, shoulders, ribs, spine, hips. Reverse, hips, low back, ribs, shoulders, head. Head, shoulders ribs, lumbar, pelvis, deep breath, pelvis, lumbar, ribs, shoulders, head. One more. You say those things in sequence in your head. Deep breath. Up you go. job. All right, I'm going to turn to face you. We're going to modify this stretch to begin with. It's right ankle over left. Okay, if you're already getting some sort of a stretch here along the side of the hip and thigh, stay there. You can progress to here. Okay, hugging the knee in and up is another progression. Sit up tall. Find your balance on your hips by kind of tipping hip to hip. Make sure you feel both of them down on the chair. Okay. You can stay here or you could go to figure four. I prefer this today is speaking to my hip a little more clearly. Stack tall, stay on your sits bones and breathe now. Relaxing the shoulders down the back, bringing the chest up, the crown of the head up a little taller and relax. Good, let's go to the other side. Option one, option two, option three, or option four, okay? Choose one, stick with it, find some deep breathing. Lift the sternum up. You can hug that leg in a little more deeply, but use your arms rather than your shoulders or spine. We wanna keep the shoulders very correct and neutral on the body. that. Really nice job today. I thank you for coming and joining me. Find me Thursday, same time, same place, Elements Live, and um, three o'clock Thursday. Hope to see you there. Thank you. Be well.